Hello student, this is Sanjeev Jha, your online tutor, welcoming all of you on my YouTube channel. And as you see, that is, today's our topic is chemical composition of chromosomes, right? Earlier, I mean, in the previous video, we discussed about the structure of chromosome, that is, morphological structure, right? Now, in this video, we are discussing about the chemical composition of chromosomes. The people, I mean, the student who, the student or people who are uh, not seeing my previous video, I request them or suggest them to go the previous video that is chromosome part one, and the link is given below in the description box. Okay, now. Let's start our topic today, that is chemical composition of chromosomes. So, basically, for your convenience, okay, I draw a flow chart of a chemical composition of chromosomes that give a good idea what are the component or what are the composition of chromosomes, right? Now, here you see in the form of flow chart so basically as you, as you see that is chemical composition of a chromosome basically uh, chromosome is composed of two type of elements right that is nucleic acid and second one is protein now uh, further nucleic acid is made up of or composition of nucleic acid is dna and rna and the protein as you see protein is two type that is histone and non histone so that is the basic basic uh, chemical composition of chromosomes if we chemically uh, chemically if we chemically uh, i mean differentiate of a chromosome we find these things within chromosomes okay basically a uh, chromosome is uh, made of chemically made up of chromat uh, chromatins right and chromatin is made up of nucleic acid and protein right so in the earlier class we are discussed about the chromatids right in the structure of chromosome first part is chromatids right if you remember chromatids are the two symmetrical long longitudinal intertwisted filamentous structure so basically chemical composition of chromosome is composed of chromatids and chromatids is composed of two types of things that is nucleic acid and protein now there are two types as you see there is a two types of nucleic acid that is dna deoxyribonucleic acid and rna that is ribose nucleic acid and the protein is two type that is histone and non histone so basically this is the flow chart of chemical composition of a chromosome now we we'll discuss in detail of it right let's start as you see that is the chemical component of a chromosome we earlier uh, learned about or we are able to know that the major component of eukaryotic components are nucleic acid and protein so someone asks you uh, what are the main uh, what are the main component of eukaryotic chromosomes right so you we can say there is a two component of uh, chromosomes number one is nucleic acid and number two is protein these are the two basic component that composed or uh, composed a uh, eukaryotic chromosomes right and as we know that nucleic acid is further divided into two parts right uh, in short we called it dna as you see written here that is DNA deoxyribonucleic acid so sometime uh, the question is that what is DNA right so what is the full form of DNA so we can write deoxyribonucleic acid and second one that is ribonucleic acid that is RNA so uh, I hope you understand that is DNA as you see that is a DNA and RNA composed what nucleic acid right and further 
in same way protein is composed of two types of protein that is one is acid protein which is known as non histone and second one is histone or basic protein so protein is composed of this that is non histone and histone that is basic protein clear that is the composition basically right and if we go through the percentage what is the composition of the what are the composition of this uh, of a chromosome of this component so as you see primary uh, chromosome contain 90 percent as you see 90 percent dna plus histone right and 10 percent rna and non-histone make the 100 percent of chromosome i hope the chemical component of chromosome and their composition is clear as crystal as right so we move to the next topic that is the part of chromosomes right or we can say not part we can say the types of component uh, chromosomes so as you see in your screen uh, the heading is type of chromosome so basically functionally uh, chromosomes are two types as you see that is number one is autosome and number two allosomes or sometimes it is called sex chromosome why it is called sex chromosome i explain it later okay so let's start uh, so is it clear that chromosome is how many types of chromosome there are mainly two types of chromosomes first one is autosomes and second was second one is allosomes or sex chromosome now question is that how uh, how we know that how we define the chromosome uh, sorry auto autosome right how we define autosomes sometimes ask question ask that define autosomes okay so here it is the chromosome that are responsible for controlling all the somatic character you know what is somatic character somatic characters means body characters right like your uh, uh, your texture of hair as you see here is example like height of the body skin complex right someone uh, black someone white some right so these are the control by somatic these characters are known as somatic character okay so we learn about that in later okay so just listen that is somatic characters are what are the somatic character height of the body skin complex texture of hair and many more there are few example for your understanding okay now the somatic characters the responsible i mean the chromosome that are responsible for this type of characters somatic characters right those are regarded as a autosomes okay and where it is located where it is found as you see that is it is found or present in the somatic cell okay we learn somatic what is somatic cells in the uh, next slides okay or later of the class so where it is located now autosome is located mainly in somatic cells where it is located it is located in autosomes now further how many pairs it is very important right because there are 22 pairs or 44 pieces of autosomes in human beings are present right total is uh, 22 sorry uh, 22 pair and one pair total is 23 pairs right total number of chromosome total number of chromosomes in human body 23 uh, 23 pair or 46 right uh, out of which 22 pairs is autosomes and one pair is six chromosome or allosomes six chromosome or allosomes uh, only have one pair the total uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes or 46 chromosomes present in the human body okay out of which 22 pairs that is responsible for somatic character and one pair is responsible what we learn in the next topic.
okay i hope you understand what is autosomes what is it is located and how many pairs of autosomes present in human body okay now we move to the next type of chromosome that is allosomes or sex chromosome here it is how we define sex chromosome or allosomes chromosomes that are primarily responsible for sex determination okay the chromosomes which are responsible for sex chromosome earlier we study uh, the chromosomes which are responsible for somatic character is known as autosomes here it is allosomes are responsible for sex determination what is sex determination it is male or female okay so that is uh, the chromosome that are primarily primarily responsible for sex determination of an organism are called allosomes right and where it is located so uh, light like, uh, autosomes allosomes are also present in somatic cell somatic cell one thing i correct here that is somatic cell and it is also present in germ cells okay which type of cells germs g e r m s germs cells it is also present in germ cells no doubt of human beings as you see the number of allosomes i already told you that is number of allosomes is one pair one pair of allosomes are present okay and autosomes has i mean autosomes has what autosomes has a representation they are represented through x and y right they are represented to autosomes are represented through x and y so in one pair of allosomes are named as x and y in man right in man chromosomes autosomes um, sex chromosomes or allosomes are one pair that is number one is x and number two is y one is represented by x and one is represented by y so we can see they are identical sorry non-identical okay so allosomes one pair of allosomes present in the uh, human human body is non-identical okay whereas in female uh, they are named x and x the one pair of autosomes sorry allosomes or sex chromosome that is identical x both are x clear i hope uh, you understand i am talking what what is i am talking about so in simple way as i told you earlier that uh, in man there is total number of chromosome that is 44 and xy for male this is the total number of chromosome in male this is 44 is autosomes and xy is a allosomes or sex chromosome and in female the total number of chromosomes present is 44 double x 44 plus double x that is double x is i mean sex chromosome and 44 is a uh, autosomes so that is someone if if someone asks how many uh, chromosomes present so this is the representation of chromosome in male or man female here it is right i hope the idea of types of chromosomes you will understand right but if you do have any queries you can inbox me i definitely give you answer okay now we move to the next topic that is you many times heard about that is n type 2 n type haploid diploid so these are basically what we are going to talking about or we are complete the confusion that is diploid what is diploid and what is haploid so uh, as you see when the uh, nucleus of the cells contain complete set of chromosome when the nucleus suppose suppose this is a cell right and it is the nucleus and as we know within the nucleus chromosomes are present right so 
if the chromosome is coming from one for parent parental side and one for maternal side that is one get from father and other get from mother and then it is composed chromosome is composed or cell is composed right of male and female then this type of cell is known as what this type of cells is known as diploid cells because there is two uh, two things are involved that's why it is denoted by 2n okay i hope this is this is going to be clear to you now we define how we define the diploid or 2n okay sometime it is diploid is known as 2n it is regarded as 2n or represented by 2n we can say so how we define diploid or 2n so when the nucleus of a cell contain two complete set of a chromosome right what is a complete set of a chromosome i earlier told you that is one parental set and one maternal set right if the chromosome is composed of one parental set and one maternal set parental set means i earlier told you what that is the set what is the set that is parental set what is uh, autosomes that is 44 plus uh, xy right and for maternal that is maternal set is 44 plus xx right so these type of these type this when these two are composed okay it composed and make a chromosome then this chromosome or these cells is regarded as diploid clear now it is represented now it is represented as you see it is represented by 2n right 2n that is as you see that is two that is two chromosome that 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 is why um, next uh, in man diploid the number of chromosome is 2n that is 46 right 44 41 46 44 41 46 clear so 46 number of chromosome 46 that is 23 pair clear now that is all about the diploid and we move to the haploid haploid is the opposite or half we can say in dynamic ko ek right in dynamic ko ek either the chromosome is composed of okay composed of this one or this one not both right if chromosome uh, or cell is composed of both type of chromosome then it is regarded as diploid and if the nucleus is contain any one of this either uh, parental that is 44 plus xy or 44 xx dono mein se koi ek jab rehta hai then it is regarded as haploid i hope this is clear what is diploid and what is haploid chromosomes right now um, in the next slide we are discuss about the different differentiation okay what are the difference between these two types of cells as you see in your right side it is haploid and your sorry left side your haploid and diploid is the right side so that is the basic differences uh, there are lots of differences but this is the basic differences i saw in you in this slides as you see first difference is that haploid set of chromosome is known as or called as n simply we already know, know that and diploid set is 2n okay here it is the second one is that usually haploid cells is present in germ cells where does it present in germ cells right and diploid is present is somatic cells that is the main differences we already know that so, and haploid number of chromosome is 23 half rata na haploid means half total number jitna rata uska half right n is equal to 32 number man in is n hona chahiye yahan pe 
okay n is equal to 23 that's it and here 2n is equal to 46 okay that is the basic differences between diploid and haploid cells i hope the things are clear right now okay now we move to the last one that is earlier we talking about that was somatic cell germ cells okay so what are these what are type of these cells so we are talking in the next slide the types of these types of cell how we define them and we discuss about them now as you see that is somatic cell germ cells and third one is germ mother cells these are the terms usually we used so make you understand how we define somatic cell number one any cells number one that is somatic cells any cells of multicellular organism okay in the multicellular organism organism any cells other than the reproductive cells we know that there are lots of cells present in the body i mean multicellular organism of a body right so except that reproductive cells organ jo bach jate hain remaining the other multicellular other cells after uh, reproductive cells those are called somatic cells ठीक है मतलब दो तरह के सेल्स होते हैं एक रिप्रोडक्टिव सेल्स होते हैं एक बॉडी सेल्स होते हैं तो रिप्रोडक्टिव छोड़ के जो सेल्स बच जाते हैं तो बचे हुए सेल्स को हम क्या कहते हैं सोमैटिक सेल कहते हैं राइट एंड इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड द बॉडी सेल इट इज आल्सो समटाइम कॉल्ड सोमैटिक सोमैटिक सेल इज आल्सो नोन एज बॉडी सेल ओके एंड इफ यू गो फॉर एग्जांपल्स इन ह्यूमन बॉडी ऑल सेल्स ऑफ द लीवर किडनी ब्लड एंड ब्रेन ह्यूमन बॉडी में जो ये सब प्रेजेंट हैं इन ये जिससे बने हुए हैं जिस सेल से बने हुए हैं दिस ऑल सेल्स द सेल्स ऑफ लीवर सेल्स ऑफ किडनी सेल्स ऑफ ब्रेन सेल्स ऑफ ब्लड्स आर द एग्जांपल ऑफ सोमैटिक सेल्स ओके नाउ जनरली सोमैटिक सेल्स कंटेन डिप्लॉयड दैट इज टू एन नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम आदर मेल और फीमेल राइट तो दैट इज बेसिकली अबाउट द somatic cells now we move to the uh, second one that is known as germ cells so the cell that contain half number of a chromosome of somatic cell and take part in the fertilization of sexual reproduction is known as germ cells so how we define germ cells so the cells which are responsible for the fertilization of sexual reproduction is known as germ cells and the number of chromosome present in it half right diploid not diploid that is haploid number of chromosome are present in the germ cells clear if we go for the examples germ cells like uh, sperm in the male ovum in the female these are the example of germ cells right now uh, last one is the germ mother cells so how we define germs mother cells now i remove this as you see from where the germ cells is formed jahan se germ cell germ cells produced hota hai us cells ko kehte hain mother cells right example uh, testis ovary etc these are the some examples of germs mother cells i hope you understand the topic all about and if you do have any queries you can ask me and if you don't such subscribe please subscribe my channel and thank you uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned with us for many more videos thanks thanks again